online, I have Dr. Ayman Black. As you know, he has a program here on Styles, Metamorphosis, and what can I say? Enough respect. We go back a long way. We have basically a sort of shared culture. We are both from East Kingston. I lived in Harborview before I left. He lives in Harborview now. He also um, migrated to the United States as a young person, just like myself. And our way of looking at things is basically different from a lot of Jamaicans who just want to be Jamaican and not basically African. And um, so I, we're here this morning to discuss racism, racism in Jamaica. Welcome. Greetings. Morning, Sister P. Morning, morning. Good morning to the, to the engineer. Cassidy. And good morning to all of the listeners to Spiritual Vibration. Give thanks. Yes, my sister. Uh, okay, I want to start off here. I thought about how I would start off, but now I want to say this. I left Jamaica as a teenager, not knowing that I was black, until I got to the United States and found out that I was black. Mm. And then I left the United States and returned to Jamaica, and, never, and of course, I found out that I was black in America because in Jamaica, these things were never discussed at that time mm -hmm. when I was growing up. Then I came back to Jamaica and found out that I was not black, that I was brown. Hmm. And it is, complicated. it is complicated. And until today, I mean, I don't see myself as brown or nothing other than black African. I don't see myself as nothing other than that because there is nothing other than that for us people of color. And sometimes I walk down the street and somebody might say, Browning. Well, of course, they're not talking to me. They're not talking to me. Because the minute that you want to say that I am not black, I am brown, you are denying my father who was a jet black man. So what are you going to miss me? Better than my father. But these are the types of things. So let us get into this racism thing here now. I man, because um, people want to say, oh, we don't have racism in Jamaica. Do we have racism in Jamaica? Well, I think we can begin by trying to establish um, what is a race, you know, <laughs> that if a person thinks that they really belong to a race, or maybe they don't belong to a race, because before we talk about how these races can relate, we have to identify who are what are the races, you know? Yes, yes. And as you as you were saying, and you like to say, I grew in a certain region, just like that, I, I at the same time was black like night, but I never knew that I was black. <laughs> See there? <laughs> See there? No. I had Chinese friends and I had Indian friends who I grew with. I grew with children who were, were non-black, and of what we call other races in Jamaica, but... That was a feature of, of, our, of, our, of our relation. You know, we, we were friends. Yes. But I could go to, right, I could go to them house, you know, and we do certain things and we ramp in the environment and so on. But at the same time, there were some invisible sort of unspoken walls, you know? Yes. Because socially now, we never really socialize necessarily in the same places. Absolutely. Once, once we leave school, you know? Yes. So, as you say, you know, maybe in Jamaica, we, we are told that out of many, out the matter confuse us to begin with. Yes. That out of many, there is one. And I don't want to take up to you if you know that that matter comes from the United States. Yes, I know that. We don't need, let so, me tell you. You know, hear me say? Everything that the United States, I have people ask me and they say to me, like, why we have to have Black History Month? Not calling no name. I'm not, not saying nothing about your brethren. Why we have to have um, Black History Month in February because it's an American thing? Or, you know, people will say things like that. Not realizing right. that down to the motto of this country is an American thing. Okay. 
So, so we start in this, you know, to, to show, to maybe look all this, I realize that when that American mother said, out of many, one. Yes. At that time, the many were, were simply a group of ethnic people that run away from Europe. Yes. They were the many. The tribes who had fought in Europe and the group who, who couldn't take any more decides to run away, right? So they want, they want to unite. So they need, you need a motto. You need symbols. Because I know you're going to talk about this statues and so on. So you need symbols. You need motto. Things that people can rally around. Yes. So they came up with the concept now of out of many, they're going to be one. They, they're no longer going to be the tribes of Europe anymore. They're going to be one. And that one will fall under the banner of being Anglo-Saxon Protestant. That would be the, the religious political identity. But you know, Sister P, what they really did, they attached a bigger umbrella called whiteness. Yes. So they put the white in front of the Anglo Saxon Protestant. And they all identify as WASP. Yes. So today, you know, when we talk about race, this is the foundation of America. It's a WASP culture. It's white Anglo Saxon Protestants who have turned the Indians into. Genocide, right? Yes. So when we talk about race today, the fast forward to 2020, that is a base that Trump is, is, is rallying on. That foundation, white America, that sets up the Constitution now, and all the other legal framework to define which groups will have power. So when it comes to race, you can't separate race from power in America. And the same thing applies to Jamaica, Sister P. But it, you know, it's interesting that you said something there, and I need to get back to it. You said it's a white Anglo Saxon person, the wasp. Yes, the wasp. Yes. And isn't it interesting that all people from Africa who were brutalized by some of these people yes. are worshiping the same God as these people? Tell me again, what's the I didn't hear the last part. I said, these people, our people right. here, African diaspora, whatever you want to call us, Jamaicans, whatever, we're worshiping the same God as these people. They worship, is that what you say? Yeah, we're worshiping the same God as well, these people. Okay, but remember now, you know, Sister P, you mentioned some symbols like Columbus, right? From the time 1494 project, we, we get introduced now to the God religions, you know. Yes. So it just verify why you why you can say what you're saying. That people in the diaspora are still worshiping the Protestant Catholic framework. Yes. You know, so the symbols as we talked about now in Jamaica, we wouldn't know that necessary race dominate Jamaica. Because the, the small racial white group, they don't really make themselves too visible in Jamaica, you know. No, no, we don't. <laughs> you know, you, we feel the effect of their money. Yes. But we don't really see them. Mm -hmm. Because you remember, they have been here you now from the British takeover now, you know. That small group that we talk about, they have been here from 1655. Yes. So they manipulate the plantation, then so they emancipate, you know, remember, you know. <laughs> Then said them get the independence, you know. And it's then same as David the Governor General, you know, Sister P. Oh no, let's not go there yet. <laughs> and as you mentioned, look at the Governor General symbol. You know what's funny about that time, uh, Mekados <laughs> Mekados says something here. The Governor General wearing this thing, right? And when start to make noise about it now, hear what the Governor General say. <laughs> he, will, he will review it. Before the man took off the city, now mash it up and dash away. Yeah, man. He Look said, the <laughs> he will re review it. Yes. That means that, no, if you or I put a pin on us, yes. we know what it means. We know what it is saying. You mean this man that is supposed to be so intelligent that he is the head of the parliament in Jamaica on behalf of the Queen, and he put on something on top of him, and he don't, he never know and realize that what it was. 
You think he did not think that he had not in line with the No, but uh, no, I'm saying, no, the fact that he says that he's going to review it. Yes. Makes he me. He knows it there. Look at him, Sister P. Remember now, you know, the, the struggle that is emerging in America, you know, out of the Black Lives Movement, you know, is, that is what is taking us into these levels of conversation now, you know. Yes. Because. A lot of people, I am suggesting to the, to the people listening, a lot of people will never identify if maybe it was labeled African Lives Matter. If, if that case about that, 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 that moniker, African Lives Matter, I don't think it would have the impact of saying Black Lives Matter. Yes. Because there are so many black people who are denying being African. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah, but it touched everybody now who black. Yes. So... Even in Jamaica now, when we're making our little leaf response, it don't really resonate here yet, you know. It's just maybe two talking about it, right? It, it, it don't build a little energy here, you know. No, but I'm but I going to say something to you. I'm going to say something. And every listener, suppose they can identify with this. Do you think that a policeman in Jamaica would ever go to a car that a white man is driving and say, Hey, boy! Come out, take care. Never. If a white woman is driving a car, you think a policeman or a policeman would have got to them and say, Hey, girl, what are you doing? You know, you're myself to come out, take care. <laughs> that, that, that to me, you see? Yeah. That to me says almost everything. Yeah. It just break it down you, right there that we have a problem. See, the choice is, our choice is now, you know. Is, is what to make a choice within the black population, you know, globally. And what's happening now is not just an American thing, you know. Because globally, if you look at the movement, it's even stronger to me now in Europe. It we is stronger in Europe. And it is, right. I tell you, yes. And I mean, like, hey, yes, yeah, and racism. Africa. Yeah, because racism is more entrenched in Europe than America, you know. Yes. The Belgians, now, look at this now. The Belgians kill our 30 million. That's one thing. And the Belgians quickly moving the statue, you know, <laughs> right? <laughs> the English put up roads and they quickly remove him. They don't know what they've done, you know, and they understand the importance of these symbols. Yes. Because it's a thing. You think we could go to Israel and see a statue of Hitler put up in Tel Aviv? I didn't hear that. You think we, we, could, we would be able to go to Israel? Yeah. And see a statue of Hitler put up in Tel Aviv? Oh, please. But why not a statue? It's just a statue. It's just a statue. It's just yeah, a statue. Why not? It's just <laughs> like how just like how when you go to Germany, every place that you turn in Berlin they have a, a monument to the Holocaust. Yes, yes. So I can identify where that is in Jamaica. Right. I can identify that. Let us say no, there's a consciousness that is lacking here. And my issue now is that when it comes to statues and roads and all of these names, my folk, what I wanted to come down that went up in my lifetime was that nakedness and then put in New Kingston. I know you have always fought against that. You have always Sister fought P. against that. And it is one of the statues that must come down because it is derogatory to us as African yes, people. I'm and you. There's a that's point that, that you, you yeah, there's a point that you have made, and I guess I can discuss it on the program here. You said that where in the world would you see a black man with a beautiful black woman in front of him and the two of them is naked and the man don't have no kind of erection? Come on. But it, and both of them are looking in the sky. And it's just a thing. When I look at how it's not a matter of being needed to know enough. This is supposed to represent emancipation. So would, would Nanny approve of a statue like that? Does that symbolize Nanny? Does that symbolize Marcus Garvey or Paul Google? No, no. Look, we hear, we are understanding the importance of symbols and how they work on the, what, the, what I call you know, the subconscious brain. Symbols and signs are more powerful than even words. But the people walking past, we catch it every day. After a while, we lose respect for anybody to in the society. Yes. When you see the girl and saw we are nothing from the street, and the boy and saw we are nothing from the street, you know. I think of myself, you know, Trying to raise a family, and in my house, I show privacy to my certain organs, right? It's a public and private area. Yes. 
and I moving around my house, keeping my safe covered. And then when I take my son downtown, and say, Daddy, what that? But you know something, in my travels within, I haven't been to many African countries, but I have never seen naked statues. Because they have, I, I see statues of like, they will, have a f they will have like a nurse or a set of nurses, or they will have like a chief in his, yes. in his thing, or you will see a mother holding a child or something with, a, with the military. But I've never seen naked people. And I want to know why, because of all the artists in Jamaica, they could only find the one that was closest to white to do that, that statue. And who is, who is this artist now? Some, some big name, some family social name in Jamaica now, you know? Yes, it's some a big English, name family. By some English conception of now of black people's liberation, a white woman's conception of black people's liberation is a naked man and a naked woman looking in the sky. It's a thing. The country should revolt and just put them, like all America pulled down Saddam's statue, that's how we should pull down that thing. It's going to affront the family life in Jamaica. It's going to affront the black family. It's going to affront the personality. So before, why we need Columbus and his historical thing? We have to look at the culture as well, immediate culture. And, and make a... a, a it is a form of it's not, form of it, it is racism. It is you racism. Know? It is racism in the first place that you take you know? somebody who is of the upper class in Jamaica to present or create a statue that is from the Africans in Jamaica because still you and yourself believe that the Africans in Jamaica cannot make a statue of themselves. Same way, same way they, they couldn't make a bus at Marcus Garvey. You know, she said the same thing, Sister T. Why well, that one? <laughs> Me and you fight hard yeah, for that one. <laughs> they draw for the same white inspiration of what beauty is. They, they gave can't it. draw, they can't make a man with a flat, with a big white nose, you know. Because you know them training, that is not beautiful. No, that is not beauty. Yeah, so you, we see the, the importance of the culture, even in what you call our most educated. Them white, look at it, see, even to be educated at the highest level, then so you become enlightened, right? That is bleaching. Yeah, it, that it, is a bleach, that is the highest level of bleaching, you know, that yeah. more deadly than skin bleaching. Yes. But you know, because when I was think. a youth, you know, when I was a youth, um, then you used to say that we need potty water nose bridge. So nah. I'm not a nose bridge. Yes. So it, it, it is quite a word. But I've been looking at us as a people. First of all, I just want to say, I want to congratulate the people in the, um, the Africans who live in America for the fact that they have gotten out there and demanding yes. change. Something that we hear, we're still asleep and still thinking that we are better off than them or that we're That's more amazing. enlightened yes. more than them. You know, um, yes. it, it, it is so sad that all of these la enlightened Jamaican people who think that we're so big had their governor general running around wearing a pin like that. So, you know. I know. Mr. P, we let that ignorance here politically. Because the kind of politics people in Jamaica is a two-party tribe here. You don't understand black power. You don't understand white power. No. As, as a political power, you know. But you know you something? Know, you know, Mr. P. Is, is Marxism and Leninism and draw upon, you know, some racist white man philosophers, you know. Yes. But they draw upon Javi, you know. No, 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 no. We it's don't. Telling, you know, As a matter of fact, if, uh, first of all, another thing, Jamaican people don't understand that even though Marcus Garvey is our first national hero, we still don't have any respect for him. Because, because yeah, yeah, he, it's yeah. not Jamaicans that made Marcus Garvey great. They didn't. It is yeah. African Americans, people in Australia, Aborigines, and all of these people who made Marcus Garvey great. He was great except for in this country. Does that sound any different from Bob? <laughs> is, is it happy? Yeah. Bob Marley sounds like him traveling the same chat too. Yes. Yes. So, we get the understanding of really the dominant culture here mm -hmm. is, is definitely not dealing with blackness. No, it definitely is not. It definitely right? is and not. The dominant culture has been here from 1655. I'm a kind of runaway with the Spanish. Yes. That comes culture has been here. 
And I think we are afraid to face that culture because we control so much of the world. Because we're lazy. That the that we're the lazy. Who, politicians who come in between, they just manipulate that and the people. They don't, they don't, they don't care about the population. Please. You know, I was looking at it and I said to myself, I don't understand. And a person who sees themselves as African or Pan-African, whichever one, rest of right. what, whatever, and actually not seeing that the political system here in Jamaica is the same as the religious. Is it two of them is the same? They go hand in hand. Yeah. I have never in my time on creation, I'm there a long time, I've never heard a Jamaican politician talk about, I'll just give you a simple thing, organic farming which yes. would do something for the masses. I have never heard them coming across, maybe Michael Manley did, in terms of getting together with Africa. No, they don't do no. that. I was watching last night, and for the first time, I did not know that every prime minister, everyone, since Norman Manley and Buster Man today's, I don't know if you saw that, has talked about removing the queen, everyone. But Everyone. Sister, sister and Norman Please. Manley and Buster Manty said no. Norman Manley, the great Norman Manley, the two of them, our national heroes, said Please. no because it would upset something, whatever, whatever. And straight sister down. Please. Okay, no man. Remember, say, no, no, nobody shed any real blood and grief for the declaration to be signed, you know. No, no. It's, it's, it's paperwork. Right, you, sh you, you shift in the power now from the planter class to the planter class from the overseas powers. So they are just going to hold the system the same way and share it amongst them family. The tragedy, you know, Sister P, is that the black population don't see collectively ourselves as black. Because the thing that if you're too black, you're not going to survive here. So you have to try to become as less black as you can, so the brown, the, the drive now to become brownish. So you get more ratings. Yes. And you get more visibility. All of the little island in the city, because you know, so when you leave, all of that buff up. <laughs> right? You don't even have to look at our music videos. And you see this man that has locks, or you see this very dark complexion, brethren, and then you look at the girl that he's with. Yes. And you know it still goes where Jamaican families are such a... I don't want you to marry a man there, you know, because him too black, the picking him and come out. Or, I don't want you to marry the girl there, you know. I don't want you to do with the girl there, you know, because the picking them, you know, I got too black. So, we lose him? Okay, we can take a break and come back then. It's a rest of a ride and die and die. Please won't you hear me when I cry? Send down styles of them just to save us. Blessed love, this is Dwayne Stevenson from August Town. And in tune to Sister P and Styles FM. Listen and yourself. Big it up. Them just as study people business, study people business, study people business. Roger, you know what I just realized? How come fear shop always full? And you can barely count the amount of people who come in a Femi shop. Then you know see fear shop get international. A Styles FM she a mind our business with. Styles FM fit you? Yes. A time you mind your business. See him like how she a mind our business. And a sponsor one show past Styles FM. I say you feel mind your business. And take out one package and sponsor one of their show too. She a get ads. She a get mentions. Her business I get chat about. I want to you. Mind your business. Yes, that's right. You can sponsor a program on Styles FM. Starting as low as $4,000 per month. Conditions apply. Contact us today at 876-993-3358 or 876-518-2399. Styles FM, get your business out there. Mind your funky business. Mind your funky business. Leave me alone. When you see me, leave me alone. Come on, Tia. How you feel, Suxo? Why me have a tea the whole night, night last night? night. You know, going to dentist. After me, no, 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 no. I mean, you know, no dentist, you know, about Portland smells. Then I wear that there. Right in front of Armelian at the plaza upstairs, as I got Jacob's Law Firm office. Turn right, to a nice dentist place up there. Then I wear them do up there, so. They do a lot of things, mama. Extraction, cleaning, examination, filling, dentures, root canal, crowns, x rays. And if you want braces, they do referrals too. Now, if you find up there, right here, no one can chun chun too. Because the whole of the in front of them are right now. Portland Smiles, 42 West Street, Port Antonio. Open Mondays to Fridays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
Call them at 876-603-9042 or 876-422-3333. Cool, cool, cool. Everyone is saying. Cool. Everyone is expecting me to. Cool. Like I can just get up and cope. Can someone just please help me to cope? The Ministry of Education, Youth and Information has heard your cry and assures you that coping matters. Tune in every Wednesday at 10 a.m. on Styles FM for a 30-minute feature with qualified guidance counselors who will share tips. Because with all that is happening, coping matters. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? I just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town no sir i where they got that song there only on thursday night groove with Louis Lecky from 9 p.m. to midnight on Styles FM. Every Thursday, it's not your average retro program. Music like that, while your money's back, yeah. You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration with P. Yes, we are the children of the African race. Yes, we're back with Dr. Iman Black. Iman, you daddy? Yes, to Sister P, don't go nowhere yet. <laughs> so, Sister P, yeah. Well, so we are children of the African race, right? Yes. So, what do you think? Who are the humans? Who belongs to the human race then? You know, say so your grandpa and Fia sitting with me there now. No, you see, Rafa, no. You see, you see COVID 19. Yes. And identity. And Black Lives Matter. Yes. It's everybody don't really look at what is the essence of our identity, you know, who it is. Because we, the, the suffering, what Floyd died, experience, surely. There's no other race, of, there's no other people on the earth who are going through that. Yes. yes. In America, where the, the black man is at the center of the thing now, him have identity crises left, right, and center because of the power structure dominates him. Yes. Because one time he was African, then he was colored, then he was Negro, then he was African American. You, you understand? Always. From stage so, to stage. But then it's coming like a great around a circle, you know, because of it eventually will return to being black, <laughs> you know? Yes. So, but I'm saying, you know, within that journey, along the road, we were told that we belong to the human race. It's like we you no know, longer belong to the African race anymore, you know? Yes. It's like they use education and religion to insert this idea that we you no know, belong to the human race. The human race. So, <laughs> uh, what? I mean, you know, that's what I mean. Beloved, when me are your reason, you know. The, the, uh, <laughs> hey, radio people would know, say, me are your reason more time, you know? Because, yes. Yes. as I said, we have such a shared experience that when we speak with one another, we know exactly what are going out there. Yeah. Go, <laughs> yeah, man, go, go, go with your human race. Go out with that. Go again. You were saying? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, you didn't finish up? You didn't finish saying what you were saying? Oh, yeah, I wanna I, I just wanna read something from Daddy Fitzroy. He says, Sister P. Yeah, man. That's the connection that I need. Two cultural persons discussing real culture, saying the things that a lot of people are afraid to say. Thanks for such connection. Well, neither me nor you is known as people to keep away mouth when it comes on black people business. You know, sir, the I and I, we have an experience that is can be spoken up and not by many. Because you say, we want to talk a little bit about the civil rights. What was the civil rights struggle like in America? Mm -hmm. What's your perspective of civil rights? Look, I say, even the concept of civil rights, many people have never civil, you know. 
let me fight him to define ourselves as siblings or sister people. Yeah, you did you, you see where James Baldwin um that said that the civil rights movement back in the sixties was actually a slave revolt. All right. You, you, you get the picture, but we sometimes have to reframe the language, you know. We have to reframe the language for people to have a different, another perspective of the event. Because they have been writing the narrative all the while, you know. Yes. They never use the word. So, we have to struggle to be defined as civil. You know, in a society that they're supposed to build. Yes. And they're not supposed to be reached human rights yet, you know. No, we don't reach human rights yet, because if we ever reach human rights, we can't even bother to start talking about that in Jamaica. Because you know what I mean? Let me tell you something. I have been, I can't even to watch the TV at night. I try to catch, you know, maybe there are some important things on the news. But when I see how our security forces deal with poor people in this country, it is worse, worse than what that them police officers doing to black people in America. People must know that. Yes, I mean, I you have to say yes about that now. You need to be the country of police, whether it's America or China or Europe, is the same country, you know, it means brutality. Yes. And the country of police is, is it, even, if, even their motto, you know what they say, so the importance of motto, the matter of the police say no, to serve, to protect, and to reassure. But they don't say who you know. Well, but but near you know. But near you know is who. <laughs> but, but I didn't even realize until recently that the police force in America was formed right after the emancipation of African people. But basically it was formed against African people. You know how to do what to do? To capture them in slave patrol. Yes. So it's the same right. people in the police force, don't just like the same thing in Jamaica, where the police force was, was formed after Paul right. Bogle. It's the same thing. So, all, all the kind of say to you listeners, the word police is a critical word. It's not the society that they're in, you know. If you got Germany, police need the same way there, you know. Yes. So I'm saying from the, from the beginning of the Columbus project, when the topic of plantation society, Police has been a force in a every plantation society. A milit that is a military. Because you really can't go for it unless you have a military, you know. Yeah, you know yeah, well, yeah, so they basically play that role, yes. And even the governor now, that we hold Jamaica at the political level, even the general of the army, you know. To me, that's what we mean, governor general, you know. A two title in my career, you know. Every time you said governor general, I just get sick in my belly. Every, <laughs> every time you said governor general, that this man could actually sit in that place. Sit in King's House. First of all, the name of the place is King's House. Yeah, right. Which King now? Because that I still have, right? <laughs> and wearing this badge of honor. No, sir. We have to drop this honor with the top. No, we have to stop that. We have to stop yeah, no, that. No, man. All these men, all them kind of give honor with the most honorable. No. No, I mean, I call them honorable. I have yes, made it very clear on this program ever since I started that I don't call none of them honorable. None. Look here. It never come out of my mouth. I may not say this worship to the mayor neither. Yes, and uh, look here, sister. The, the man them take on all of the the, 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 the costume. Yes. The we take on the costumes. I won't tell you how we take on the costumes. We take on the costumes from our hair down to our toenails. We take on the costumes. You see, you see this um, COVID-19, <laughs> we started out with a pandemic, you know, and the whole issue was about health, right? And it moved into an economic realm, you know, it's property now exposed, you know, and it moved to a political struggle now between democratic societies, the freedom and totalitarian, it reached racial now, you know. Listen. So it, it's a protest, there's a movement out of, out of the covid that led to this protest. And now, Sister P, I ask you, you know, you don't hear about COVID much anymore still, you know. Well, yes. Does that mean, does that mean we are any more safer from it? Because the protest them to me you now broke up all the laws that COVID was trying to introduce. Like yes. Like staying apart and this and that and that forth. Yes. 
So black people now, I think, should be on the serious alert, you know. Because it's really up there in this exposure, you know, to study. So we have to be conscious of what is happening around us and how we inject ourselves into certain situations, you know? Because ultimately, you know, it's a depopulation agenda that people have, and it's the black people they they feel they are, you know? You know, you know what COVID-19 did for me? I tell you, like a lot of people say, I hope you got a lot of rest and relaxation. I was home for two weeks. Today is, a, today is the first I really put my foot back on the area. I was just really home for two weeks. But what it did was, it was such a time of reflection for me. Right. And, and one of the things that came up, we must be the only people that somebody has to tell us how we must wear our hair to be accepted. You ever hear something like that? I even thought to myself and I said, can you imagine that we shave our legs because they told us to shave our legs to look like them? Well, not me. We shave on our arm because yeah. them say that is how you have to look to be like them. Exactly. We wear so stockings. What do we call beauty? What do we call beauty? What do you What do you think that something that we learn to embrace? That's hard to embrace, you know, because you know, the black concept in the dictionary don't have a positive definition of black. Yeah. So I, it's hard for people, I understand, you know, it's hard for people who want to identify themselves as black. Then try to them shoes and tell you, say, see black day, and, and, and it's not for them still. But I think what we have to do in our conversation is try to move the consciousness of blackness beyond color into our makeup, our physical makeup. It's that we are making us black, you know, the pigment in our skin, the melanin. It's like thinking more science than thinking superstition, you know? So if you see the melanin in your skin, you can't question whether you're black. No. Even white people, they call us non white in you know, the sister You ever hear any like that? <laughs> they decide I in the great majority as non white. <laughs> non white. <laughs> right. The minority. But you know, yeah, what my, my, my thing in Jamaica, on. you know. No, hold on. But yeah. you know that they are really non black. They are non black people, you know. Because the world of ninety percent of black people in it. You know, when I say non black, we say non white. Yes, they are, they and they are the minority in the world. Yes, exactly. But, but we, don't, we don't have to identify them as a, as a minority. We speak of ourselves as a minority. Yes, we speak we of ourselves as a minority. Yeah, man, we are none. That's because what they have serious. done to us. That's what they have done to us. And they yes, have man. used, they have used <laughs> that Jesus Christ business to push it oh, on us. Absolutely. And you know what we're trying to do? It's a big Jesus image, you know. Oh, it's man. Image, you know. Don't even talk about but, that. Look at well, I know. If this is a big man image, people can always, always, always drive black, you know. But if it's a big one, it's always white. Yes. <laughs> you know always. what I mean? So I always think you, 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 you're changing. You're not changing anything. It's so the same. Get rid of white baby Jesus and the ninja story and get those things out of our brain as history. But you know, I want to I wanna come to another point. I want to come to another point here, Ayman, because there's a lot of people don't understand this. The poorest white person in Jamaica, the poorest, is more, more respected and thinks that this is paradise for them, which it is, than somebody, than a very educated person. Let's, let's just use the word black person in Jamaica. And the white, the poor white person don't know that. And we'll, and we'll tell you, say, a lie, you tell. Because they, in their make-believe world, they're thinking that they're fitting in. You're not fitting in. They have white privilege here. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. And you know, they, they, they convince us as people coming out of the plantation, emancipation, we, 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 we put in a category called poor as a... As a kind of class. Yeah. 
So the, the poor class now, which is the majority, 95% black population, they tell us that only way we can escape being poor is to get an education. Yes. They tell us this now in a sister period. So we force and we do all we can do to send our children into the schools to get an education. To get a so European... Education, because got it right, to get a European education. Yes, to, 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 to get a job. Yes, to get a job. Which is another right. form of the plantation. We yeah, have to maintain the plantation going around in a circle. Yes. Yeah, so our educated people will never shake the system. <laughs> There's nobody from the university from of West Indies, says Rodney Lee, that has ever said anything to make the system feel as well. Black people must change. You know? As a matter you of know? fact, I don't know if you uh, caught if you caught it. You know, this there's a petition to change Lady Musgrave Road. Yes. You saw that? Yes. Did you see Carolyn Cooper's comments? I read a, a comment to Carolyn Cooper's comment. <laughs> from, from the original writer who presented the thing. Oh, she said, and oh, Lady Musgrave was a nice lady. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. She said, yeah, why are they telling lies on this woman like this? No, yes. folks. Yes. We're talking about the black bourgeoisie in Jamaica. Exactly. And, and, they are and it don't go no true. higher than that. It don't, it, 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 that is it. That is it. In 1834, you know, remember when they set up the emancipation thing for the black people, you know, they also set up the Dina Company, you know. Yes. 1834, before we can even read English, you know. That becomes a critical point to control the propaganda of the people's brain here now, you know. So they allow certain people to write into the paper. And the editors and the owners are the wealthy. They know who they want to say what they want to say to the person. You know. They control that too. So if we want, if we want, if we want Lady Musgrave Road to be changed, why the hell Carolyn Cooper don't stay out of that and make us get it changed? Why yeah, she have I to cannot. come with fair or something now and talk about, oh, this was a... Oh, listen, folks, if you don't know who I'm talking about. Know. Not only she want to know. Another big academic at the school of science. Why not, you know? You know, my name is the The challenge to change garbage image never come from you, you know? If no. You quiet. It came from us. That is, that is tattooed on the U campus, you know? And none of them will ever speak of it. No. Because they're going to protect their own position. We're not the revolutionary. We're academics. Yeah, academics. But you know, yeah, you, you, you know what I'm saying, I man. We have, you see, if people like you and I could really get to some of these shutters out there, kind of way to really communicate with them. All right. Yeah. Which I think we can, you know. I don't well, give up on yeah. my people. You know, so them statue they would have come down a long time. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They would have come down because they would have, they would have really start to see what go on for themselves now and say, hey, yeah. that go on? Yeah, done with that. Uh, are that go on? Because they have the energy. Yeah, right, they have the energy. Yeah. They have they the energy. The and they have the anger inside of them. Yeah. So we I'm don't want to get now. this thing here yeah, because they don't understand why they have the anger. Because if every day yeah. you get up and somebody tell you, say, you're not nobody, or you turn on the TV, or when, or when them advertising, um, Tin mackerel, you see people like you, and when they're advertising, oh, you can go shopping online, I know people that look like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? You know something? You know, you know what I think? The, the people who said that the Columbus Project created from 1494, they afraid of what happened in Haiti, you know. That's what I forget, you know. They are afraid of what happened in Haiti, you know. All the white men in Europe and America. And this, this island Jamaica coming like the coming like this closest thing that can become like Haiti, you know, in terms of revolution, you know, against white people, you know. And I think that's why they fight so hard to suppress black consciousness in Jamaica. Because once it ever go here, you know, we're talking about settling now and going to war, and we're going to need that, and we want to most people from the are afraid in the city. They're afraid. Yeah, that is it. It, it, it is the same fear. We're afraid. We are so afraid because we saw what happened to Paul Bogle and we saw what happened to Sam yes, Sharp. Right. We right. are afraid. So, so use that not to count up. But guess what? We are also <laughs> afraid that if we don't say the blood of Jesus, that something bad is going to happen to us. Yes, yes. It's yes. a lot of fear that, you know. Yes, because... That one, that one, look here, my sister, 
we won't get to the heart of the fear. It's the fear of God, you know. It's the fear of God. It's the fear of God. God was introduced us in the 1494. It's the fear of God. Yeah, I'm telling you, that is the beginning of wisdom. That's what the people need to do to us to a fear of a God that told Abraham that he must take his one son up yes. to the mountain and, 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 and murder him. Destroy a city. To the people. That same guy destroy a city called Solomon Gomorrah. Yeah. You know what I know? He allowed that to escape with his wife. And then the wife, the children of, of who? Not the wife, with the two daughters. And the wife turned into Saul. You remember? Yes. Is the two daughters of the rape him now to have more children? What kind of sickness is that to the people? Hey. I tell people, you know, yes, but you know, you know the hurtful part of it, the hurtful part of it, that people that I think are in my estimate, I respect them as being intelligent. And they really fall for that stuff. They really yes, fall yes. for that stuff. But I notice, you know, that more and more the younger generation, them not know that, you know. Yeah, man, they're, 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 they're more practical now and scientific. They have computers and they can go up on Google and check information for themselves. They're more con contemporary. They're not... They're not know that. You know, part, you know, part of our problem is even as a generation where we are, I think we spend too much time um, reflecting on the past to the point that, that we have no future. Yes. Yeah, but but the, the past is future. good, you know. The past is good, but the past beyond the past that they have given us. Yeah, and even so, you see, even when we go to the past, we are going to give it away. We are still going into our own future. I'm saying we spend too many generations now trying to correct the knowledge of the past, the misinformation. And we are using the time to project we are going to be in 2050. No, and I, I noticed that. I noticed that with these youths. It's like, what is it that you want to do? Where is it you want to go? No. So, the moment, the moment is here where I think the black people, for the first time, because I'm seeing a global struggle and a, a change in, in the world order. But the world order, no, I'm talking about, is the Chinese versus the, the, the Americans. Yes. That's international power. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a yellow man versus a white man struggle now. And I'm saying that time for black people in the struggle, not to join it, but to organize yourself and set our own agenda in the next 10, 15 years. In America, you know, to copy, Trump may just get another term, you know, to convince the black people so that that's not really the case, that they may have to put them energy. We really need that kind of confirmation, you know. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, because... I, I mean, it would be it would be really sad to see it. But you know what I want to tell you, you know? You know that there are 3,000 African-Americans living in Ghana. Yes, they're moving. And we know they're moving from 1800s, you know, little by little, you know. Yeah, you know this. Thing. Over 3,000 African-Americans have moved to Ghana. And that's just you Ghana. African, you mean Africans who have been living in America because they're dropping out the American label, you know? Yes. That is crucial, you know? Yes. The black is not a high thing. Yes. It's sick, right? And that we want more black men in America, they give you this country to drop off the high thing and see themselves as black people who come from Africa. Yes. And as that line also to see the politics has to be pan African. It can't be democratic and republican. And even in Jamaica, it can't be socialist and, 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 and capitalist. We have to begin to think pan African. Well, well the thing and about that, the thing that I can't get over with Jamaica is that you will be speaking with people who. You know, African, African man. Yes. But them can't left the Westminster politics alone. Where yeah, we get to happen right now? Look at the talk to the people in 50 years old about Westminster. Look at the talk to the 50 year old and them jump out of the city. Them say it's not working. Them not say it's not working. Yeah, but if it, if somebody, when you pick him from the city, they say, look at them, no really want to They must talk about it because they see they didn't benefit out of it. It don't work just like the prayers don't work. Yeah, but I'm getting a benefit. <laughs> oh, what? No. <laughs> well, me know people are not getting no benefit, but them are willing to tell you so this side is better than the next side. And when yes. we hear that yes. every, every prime minister from come all the way down to this last prime minister talk about the fact that the queen should be removed. And a matter of fact, and I look, and they're reading these speeches. They're reading these speeches. It's not nothing that's coming from them that they're passionate about, you know. Because if they're yes. passionate about it, then we'd have changed it. But it's just a yes. nice talk to talk at the time. I just want to have a secret. You see the population now, 
We are trying to follow you know, the same dictates. The chanting of the Queen the same way and nothing will happen. But this, this year, the, the government, they know that we're chanting at the wrong spot in the city. If people want to bring down the Queen, we just take away the Governor General, you know. Them have to go about the thing back ways. That's why them know they can't work. That's why they can also say, yeah, man, let us remove the Queen. They know that that, that will not happen. But we in Jamaica, we can go to the Governor General office and boy, cut him out of the office and get him out of the country. No, but you know something? It all get there again, you know. And me tell myself, so boy, I'm not going no more and them sitting there, you know. Yeah. But really so and truly, you know? yes. if I see we have a chance to move that man out of King's house and yeah, save man, with the I, almost I, I forty million dollars a year, me going. Yes, man. I think we should move. Me going. No. Yeah, no. Me, no, no, yeah. no, 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 This is a non violent overthrow, you know, of the governor general. Now. You know, I put to the no violence, you know, we just have a throne in the empire, you know, and a stand and we now move to the league, you know, occupy, uh, occupy things out. Well, yeah, that's that's, that's a good idea. Time. That's what we probably need for the occupy king's house. Yes, but occupy. But me tell myself, say, listen, me tell me, say, Lord, sit up here. They don't sit there so long. It's time for you to go take a, take a break you know, off of it. Sit up here. You can't find, a, 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 you have to find the, the key spot to do and bring in a massive building. You can't look everywhere, you know. But me, I tell you the truth. At the point, you know, we have been hitting, we have been firing scatter shot bullets and hope. If, if we focus laser, and specific institutions, the plan fall down in the P. And the governor general is the politicians know that they, we can't. And the man is a, the man is a Christian. No, and the man is a Christian no. and on top of that, a man is sitting down in prison for 40, 50 years at the governor oh, general's goodness. pleasure? At this this pleasure. is the right this is the thing that you want me to be a part of. Yeah man, in twenty twenty. So you see, we have to give thanks for the response to fly torture, you know. Because it's torture them torture flies in front of our face, you know. It hits a nerve string at all who were trying to play blind. I remember to say almost everybody was home, you know. Because it was a lockdown time and unemployment, sexual yeah. life. Yes. And it was hard to escape with the pain. Look at Sister P. I was saying, I'm a program, you know. It, when you see the boxing, you know. And you talk to no man, you know. The referee gives the man 10 seconds to get up, you know. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, I watch a man and need a man make, you know. And I did 10 seconds gone, and I watched it, I did 20 seconds gone, you know. I saw him go on. <laughs> I took 50 seconds gone, you know, Sister P. Yeah. And then I saw 100 seconds, 200, 300. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. I know. Yeah, you can't get, you can't get no more touching than that. Hey, you know I mean, something? Me and you have to do this again. We have to go do this again because we don't touch certain things. We don't touch certain things and we totally out of time. But what a joy. What a pleasure. You know? Yeah, what a joy and what a pleasure because um, this is why when people want me to discuss things with others, I am not into arguing with people about their beliefs and so forth. I'm, I'm into giving people something that can strengthen them and i'm i know that you are the same that is what we do you know like that, that african I people want, if you should people in america they, find, they, find show, they are in a serious distress there you know i'm not going to make a recommendation you know and it based along the own constitution they must begin to respect the second second amendment yes. the right to bear arms they have the right to bear arms and that is the first line of defense we're beginning to lynch out women now in America, you know. So it's going to further. Well, the, the right to bear arms um, only applies to certain people. Because right. I was there when the Black Panthers had the right to bear arms. And we know how that went. Hi, man. Where yes, we man. chat? Strength and power. Yeah, man. Isis. Guidance. Isis. I'm from the black race, you see my black face, yes, there is no disgrace, I am black, yeah, yeah. This is Pentatouche Movement representing for Mama P, I say all your roots, all your culture, Rastafari.